Um, I'm so happy we have to watch a tape right now because I'm going to eat this while you're looking at something else. <laughs> um, so now <laughs> we're going to go back to talking about that show that takes celebrity, celebrity lookalikes to a whole new level. Watch this while I eat this. So, tell me, who do you think you look like? Will Smith. Beyonce. Leonardo DiCaprio. Angelina Jolie. Do people always tell you that you look like a certain celebrity? And do you ever want to look more like that star? Well, each week on TV Guide Network's hit show, Lookalike, three top stylists transform one ordinary person into their favorite star. A lot of people tell me that I look like Angelina Jolie. She's all about my favorite look, and that's a smoky eye pale lip. It's all about recreating her very sophisticated and classic, beautiful look today. She's great, she's wonderful, but you know, everybody's forgetting, she's a babe. <laughs> so we're going babe hair. Nice. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, let's get started. Jeffrey Altenberg is a hairstylist to A-list stars, and that comes in handy if you're transforming Renee here into Jennifer Aniston. This is going to be an amazing transformation. We're going to have to lighten the whole thing up a little bit, then to give her that real Jennifer Aniston multi-tone deal, I'm going to put some extensions in. Makeup artist Paul Benoit uses his brushes to pull out the star within. Can you say Uma Thurman? You have high cheekbones, a square jaw, and a full mouth. Someone pinched me. This one's gonna be simple. Alicia Marciano picks the glam fashion to complete each celebrity look. So look at Justin Timberlake. Here comes RJ. RJ's a young guy, 17 years old. I need to put at least five years on him. I need to give him more of a mature look, mixing it with rock and roll, hip hop, and a bit of prep. Oh, yeah. He already has the attitude to go along with it. And the results speak for themselves. Introducing Ashley as Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Renee as Jennifer Aniston. Andrea as Uma Thurman. <laughs> RG as the explosive Jessica. Jen. kind of thing so we've got paul here with me on the sofa we've got jeffrey and alicia here in the audience please welcome everybody <laughs> they're also good looking aren't they it's you know it's no surprise considering what they do for a living i suppose but anybody ever want to look like you guys <laughs> Simon Le Bon. How about that? Come on. <laughs> you, yeah. The other day, someone asked me, who do people say you look like? I said, Simon, Simon Le Bon, they do a split screen of Simon, a little overweight, so jowly, and I'm like, oh, God, that's what I got to You're look You're gorgeous. To. You look Thanks, great. Rachel. I don't know how Simon looks these days. He, he never calls. <laughs> He's so good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so this is, is this season five? Season five, that's yeah. That's unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Like, in television time, that's like 150 years, you exactly. know? Exactly, and we've done so many celebrities, and we still have more to do. I know, because they keep making new ones. They do. Right? Hollywood's good for that. That's something Hollywood's, Hollywood's good really for good for, yeah. Do you ever have to turn people away because too many people want to be the same person? Like, uh, and, you know, do you have, like, a hundred people that want to be Angelina Jolie? Well, I mean, who wouldn't? Thousands <laughs> of people want to be Jennifer Lopez, and it takes a little bit more than a big butt to, like... I can do things. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's one that a lot of people come in saying, I, I want to look like Jennifer Lopez. We get Britney Spears. A lot, a of, lot of Britney Spears. A lot of Avril Lavigne, too. Oh, a lot really? of Beyonce. They, you, so you got a hit list. We have, we have a big hit list, yeah. How do you pick the people for the show? Well, we have an audition process where people come down, and it's sort of like... They sit in front of our, uh, we, we're at a table, they come in and we uh, say, who do people say you look like? And hopefully there is some bone structure to correspond with the celebrity that they think they resemble. So you are looking for yes. someone that is, is not going to be disappointed in the long run. Exactly. So we're looking for like, you know, a little bit, we want to see some bones. We want to see some great energy, right? If you have the energy, then it just makes the whole Because a lot of it's attitude, right? A lot of it's attitude, yeah. You know that as well as I do. It's like if we have someone who we can feed off of, then it's an American, amazing experience for everyone involved. Yeah. And how do you let people down um, easy, you know? Oh. Like if they come in and they don't look anything at all like Angelina <laughs> Jolie, and, you know, how do you deal with that? Well, unfortunately, I'm not really that great at letting them down super easy. That's not really what I do. <laughs> we have this one girl that comes in every season wanting to be Paris Hilton. She looks... She doesn't. I'm not going to say what she looks. She just does not look anything like Paris. Don't he stops you, himself. I had to he stops 
<laughs> yeah, because it takes a little bit more than like black eyeliner and a chihuahua to get on the show. <laughs> for continually trying. So, Jeffrey, you, you do all the hair, right? Yes. Is there ever, um, well, a challenge that's just too great for you? Have you run into one yet that you're just like, I just can't? Yeah, that's happened a couple of times. The thing is, is that most people don't really realize what goes into mostly hair color transformation. Usually I'll talk to them beforehand on the telephone and say, you know, we're going to do the show, and what color is your hair again? And they'll say, oh, I'm, I have a beautiful red hair. And they'll come in, and they'll actually have hair that's been colored 50 million times over the last 10 years and uh. it's actually it sort of starts red at the roots and then fades to black yeah and my job is to take them to paris hilton yeah right? you got to take them to black. that's right yeah in about three hours can you even do that well, i mean how close can you get sometimes you have to say this is a comb not a wand you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> he gets really close he gets really close so, alicia whoa. you do all the wardrobe does every star have a signature look you know, every star has to have a signature look. We think about it. Look at Mary Kate Olsen, uh, Sienna Miller, Kate Moss. We, you know, they have that That's bit of true. that. That's true. And yeah. that influence of like boho chic mixed with rock and roll. It's all about the details and the specific pieces. You know, with stylists, we want to enhance who they are, remaining true to them, you know, so we're not veering off on a different path where they're wearing something and they're like, I don't feel comfortable in this. We want to make sure they feel good, comfortable, and look fabulous. So this is about having a lot of fun people and giving them a, 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 a real partnership, just like all of the celebs yeah. have. Yeah, a whole team. It really is kind of a fantasy. A fantasy? It's Honey, fantastic. Everyone has an inner celebrity inside <laughs> them. Everyone wants to have that special red carpet moment. So that's a lot of the fun for us to be able to create that, that fantasy, bring it to life. Because you know what? You may not look exactly like them, but you can buy a little piece of that glamour, honey. Hey, our Pam Anderson. She was something, you know, we did a Pamela Anderson and you this girl, we Anderson? had a Pam Anderson. Was she and pow pow? Yeah, she was pow pow. Wow. <laughs> I didn't really notice. <laughs> she was beyond pow pow. She was just falling oh, out. Man. And, but she loved it. She soaked it oh, all that's up. Great. And she went out that night. She actually decided she was going to give it a shot. She went out that night as Pamela Anderson with some friends to see if she could pull it off at clubs and whatnot. So, I mean, some of them really... Not only did she have a great day, but she took it a step further. That's pretty cool. cool. She was uh, rock star for crazy, night. You know? Yeah, she's yeah. cool. So, of course, you can see where this is going. We wanted them to help out one of our viewers who uh, wants to emulate somebody she's a big fan of. Her name is Daria. Let's watch this. I love Nicole Richie. I mostly follow Nicole's career, like online and through magazines and, you know, I, I mean, anything she would have on TV. She loves her style, her whole attitude. Daria just loves Nicole. I've been a fan of Nicole's even before The Simple Life started. Daria tries to look like Nicole by taking her style and her use of accessories and incorporating them into her everyday life. Anything from scarves, shoes. Got the coarse black skinny jeans she's always in. Whether she's wearing a dress, wearing a jean, I just love the style no matter what it was because it, it just looks so clean and so put together. It just seems like every outfit that I see her wearing, I'm like, I wish I could copy that because that's so great. I don't really look like Nicole because, you know, like she's probably a size zero or two, I don't know, and I'm like a size six. She has long hair, I have very short hair, but as for styles, you know, a lot of people can carry off the same style, you know, no matter what they look like. I don't think Daria looks like Nicole, but she uses the same style, attitude, she's trying to be trendy just like Nicole, but I think it's a hit and miss when she uses it. I need help with accessorizing and making it just look really polished and together. I think with the right professionals, Daria definitely could be made to look like Nicole Richie. It just would take a lot of help with makeup and maybe a little bit more direction for style. I kind of have a style, but I want to refine it more. And I think as she's grown, her style has become more defined. And that's what I want to do. I want to kind of, you know, make my style a little better and more together. So, Daria's friend Jeff, that you saw in the piece, is here with us in the second row. And before we bring your friend out, how close do you think these guys, now that you've seen a little bit of what they do, and you see them in person, you hear them talk a good, pretty good game here, how close do you think they're going to come? Daria is one of my best friends, and she absolutely loves Nicole. But honestly, I don't think they look anything alike. So they have different hairstyles, body types, but with the right help, 
Who knows? I'm really excited to see her. I took a sneak peek. <laughs> I know how close I this comes. Her. You better put a seatbelt on, little girl. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Was, was this uh, an especially challenging transformation for you guys? Or was this a cakewalk? Well, it was a bit of, it was a bit of a challenge because we she has very light skin and everyone knows <laughs> Nicole Richie is very golden right so yeah. we sent her to the tanning salon for a sunless tan that was priority nice. right her eyes are blue Nicole's are brown but her eyes are such a pretty, they're blue-green. I decided, you know what, honey, I'm just going to go with the color and I'm just going to play them up. Yeah. And still give that whole soulful expression. All about expressive eyes and a wet Yeah, I think lip. with Nicole Richie, the first thing I think of when I think of Nicole are the way they, they play up her eyes. And they look big as, you know, sand dollars. Her eyes are really dramatic. They were really beautiful. So I think as far as the makeup went, it was just all about warming up her skin tone, giving her a nice dewy lip, a nice smoky eye. The challenge really, honey, came down to Jeffrey and that hair. Ouch! <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Nicole has a, a much different hairstyle. Oh, absolutely. Daria. Absolutely. And actually, I saw a picture of Daria, and I thought her hair was a lot darker than it was. She was actually fairly light, so the hair color wasn't that big of a job. It only took me a couple hours, but she's got a short bi-level bob. Right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, you couldn't get a harder haircut to try and cover up. Yeah. But uh, so it was a lot of extension work today, um, and, and I actually, I think we pulled it off. I really do. I know. Yeah. I think like I said. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and in terms of clothes, we look at Nicole's body type and we look at Daria's body type. There are some differences. So the very and the important thing is that Daria feels great in her clothes. That we get an outfit that that complements her body type um, as well. So that the dress, you know, that the clothes drape nicely. That it's a great fit. Because at the end of the day, we want Daria to feel fantastic. We want her to look similar. You know, like the look inspired by Nicole. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Inspired by. Right. Is the, is the right it's frame the, it's the key right. word exactly for this. And Nicole, by the way, I think she looks so beautiful with a little bit yeah. more. A little full of abs. She looks healthy. Yes. She, she, she looks beautiful. healthy. I agree. She looks so beautiful with just a touch more weight on her. She's still, of course, this extremely thin woman. But yeah, we don't want to throw her on a I loop. I think here. she's looking better than ever. You know, with the, with a little bit of the baby. It, it literally is a little bit of baby fat on her face. I totally I think agree. She looks better than she ever has in her life. Sexier and more womanly than ever. Healthy is good. Healthy yeah. is good. Right. Yes. Eat your cheeseburgers. <laughs> okay, so are we all ready? Yeah. Let's bring out. Let's bring out the new Daria. Come on out, Daria. your chair <laughs> you can take her out later you better go out in this because you look absolutely adorable how do you feel yeah, it's great. I feel great you are really a, a beautiful beautiful girl and yeah. what a good job people uh, yeah. thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. great job how do you feel? Give us full sentences. Uh, I'm glamorous. I mean, I feel like a celebrity. I'm ready to go out in the streets, put on my big glasses, and see who's going to take pictures. Uh, I, I Forget didn't. pictures. See who's going <laughs> to buy you a cocktail. <laughs> so, guys, I mean, are, are, yeah. are you impressed with your own work sometimes? Do you just, like, say, we are. Hello. <laughs> now, I know that the jacket belongs to stylish. You get to keep that dress, and we want you to be able to go buy a few more Nicole S. pieces. Um, you know, so your boyfriend gets to see him more than one outfit. So we're gonna give you, you know, 250 bucks to Urban Outfitters, which is like half the store. Hey. Thank you. You look adorable. Great job to all you guys. And you can watch more of this great programming. Looking like airs every Wednesday in their fifth season, 8, 7 Central on the TV Guide Network. And let's get one more round of applause for our sweet little Nicole Alright. Be right back. Later. The entrance is the first chance you have to impress people. Wait.